Let's spend a few minutes talking about helicopters in mountain rescue. There's really just a handful of types of helicopter rescue. They're the short haul where the rescuer hangs beneath the helicopter, the hoist where the rescuer and the victim are hauled up, the low hover where the rescuers and the victim enter and leave the helicopter in a low hover and landing where the helicopter actually lands to retrieve the victim. When you're approaching a helicopter, always approach from the downhill side. You certainly don't want to approach from the uphill side where the rotor is closer to the ground. And of course, you should always duck on any kind of approach. Never walk around the tail rotor. The pilot should always be able to see you. Make sure that they can see 100% of the time. And of course, you shouldn't throw anything around a helicopter. There shouldn't be ropes on the ground or anything that can blow away. That should be obvious as well. Never approach a helicopter during startup or shutdown procedures. Uh, this is the most dangerous times. The rotors are not at full RPM and will flex downward more easily. Never use a camera with flash at night when a helicopter is trying to land. Do not allow bright vehicle lights to be directed at the area where a helicopter is going to land or where it's going to take off. Spectators should be at least 100 feet from any kind of landing zone and anybody working near the helicopter should be wearing eye protection. If helmets are worn, chin straps should be fastened, no loose hats blowing through the blades. Um, SAR personnel deployed should, uh, during a hover, should never push off the helicopter as it can wobble and maybe the, the rotors could strike something. And finally, you don't want to put your feet underneath the seats. Uh, in a helicopter crash, the seats are meant to collapse uh, and that protects you. If your seats are underneath, it collapses on your legs. So those are some baseline thoughts for mountain rescue or SAR personnel working around helicopters.